How do we construct perpendicular lines? Constructing perpendicular lines is similar to bisecting a segment. When we bisect a segment, we, we make a perpendicular bisector using two points. In our case, we're going to be creating perpendicular lines using a point on the line and then constructing a perpendicular line using a point not on the line. Let's start with constructing a perpendicular line using a point on the line. First, create a line. Let's place a point near to the center of the line. Next, using that point on the line, we're going to create two more points. That is going to be the segment that we're going to bisect. Using the point they give you, I'm going to place the rotating end there. I'm going to measure out a distance so that I can create two more points on the line that are not too far apart. Now we have two points, A and B, that we have a segment that we can bisect. So similar to the process for bisecting segment, I'm going to do that now using A and B as my two points. Place a tick mark near where I think the center is. Place the rotating end on A. Measure out a distance slightly greater than the tick mark. Create an arc. Now using B as the reference point, I'm going to create an arc that intersects the first on the top and bottom. I'm going to draw a line through where both arcs intersect. Now we have created a perpendicular line using a point on the line. The last type of perpendicular line we need to be able to form is a perpendicular line using a point not on the line. So first, draw a line. Next, let's place a point slightly above the line. Using that point, I'm going to create an arc that intersects the line so that I create two points that I can bisect. Now I have two points, A and B. I'm going to use those two points as my segment that I want to bisect. And again, I'm going to follow the process for bisecting a segment. I place a tick mark where I think the center is. I use my compass and I measure at a distance slightly greater than half of my tick mark. Then I make a large arc. Using B as my second reference point, I'm going to create another arc that intersects the first. Let me turn my page.
Lastly, I'm going to create a line that goes through where both arcs intersect each other. Now we have created a perpendicular line to a point not on the line. That is how we construct perpendicular lines.